This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to look at the fundamental counting principle as it applies to license plate problems. In our first section, we're going to review the fundamental counting principle itself. In our second section, we'll look at problem one. In our third section, we'll look at problem two. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle tells us how to count when two events are happening at the same time. Now, of course, the two events have to be independent events. That means the first event and the second event have nothing to do with each other. Okay, so uh, there's a formula that we use for the fundamental counting principle. Let's take a look at it. So the fundamental counting principle has a very simple formula. It's M times N. Okay, what does the M stands for? The M stands for the number of outcomes that occur in event one. Okay, what does N stand for? N stands for the number of outcomes that occur for event two. So if I wanna figure out what happens when I take two events and I put them together, I just multiply the number of outcomes in each, and that gives me the total number of outcomes. Although this sounds a bit confusing, as it applies to license plate problems, it will be extremely easy to see how it works. All right, so fasten your seatbelts. Let's take a look at our first problem. All right, let's take a look at our first license plate problem. Uh, let it be known that in every state there are cars and each car has to be licensed to someone and to identify who it is that owns a car we have these license plates and we want to make sure there's enough license plates to go around so different states have different schemes and even different countries have different schemes as to how they build the letters and numbers on those plates okay they always want to make sure there's enough license plates for all the people who need to apply for license plates. Okay, so you have to know how many cars are out there or how many cars are about to be out there, and that tells you uh, how to kind of adjust your license plate scheme. Anyway, all right, we're getting into too much theory. Let's get into something practical and something applied, right? So here we have a license plate scheme. Uh, the scheme means this is how the license plates are made in a fictitious state. Okay, so in this particular scheme, license plates have to have seven characters. That means like there's seven spaces on the license plate. The first four characters have to be letters. The last three characters could be either letters or numbers. Okay, so that's what this license plate scheme is telling us. Okay, so let's figure out how this is going to work uh, mathematically speaking. Okay, so it says there's got to be seven characters. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's seven spaces. So think of our license plate having seven spaces on it, and it looks like the first four have to be letters. Okay, so, well, you got to think, how many letters are there in the alphabet? Well, we have A through Z, which is 26 letters. Now I'm not including the small case because on license plates you never put small case letters. They're always big, bold, capital letters. So I'm only including the capitals and that means there's 26 letters in the alphabet. Okay, so that means there's A through Z for the first uh, character and that's going to be true for the first four. Okay, so 26, 26, 26. So I could have A through Z here, I could have A through Z here, A through Z here, A through Z here. So one letter each, but I could choose any letter A through Z. Okay, so there's 26 letters in each spot. Okay, so let's talk about what's next. The first four, okay, how about the last three letters can be either letters or numbers. Okay, well let's see. If I've got A through Z, we said that it's 26 letters in the alphabet. But if I've got the numbers 0, 
uh, through 9, right? 0 through 9, that's another 10. So that means I have, how many characters could I possibly put in this spot? It looks like I could put a possibility of 36. There's 36 possible numbers I could put just right here. Okay, the same thing for the next slot is going to be 36. And the next slot is 36. So I could put a whole bunch of numbers. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take 26, 26, 26, 26. I'm going to put 36, 36, 36. And I'm going to multiply them all together because that's what the fundamental counting principle says, that each one of these slots is an, a different event. That's an event there, that's an event there, an event there. So I've got seven different events happening. They're all independent. What I choose for this slot has nothing to do with what I choose for this slot and so on. Any number or letter I choose here doesn't affect any of these others. So now what I do is I punch these into a calculator and I come up with a horrifically large number. Okay, so what do I get? I get a huge number, just as I thought. Okay, so this is going to be a huge number. It's 2-1-3-2-0-6-7-2-2-5-6. Okay, so I got all these numbers. Okay, what does this mean? And if I put commas here. Okay, so let's see. This is millions, billions. All right, so it turns out that this particular license plate scheme is huge. It looks like it's going to make... 21,320,672,256 unique license plates. Neat. All right, let's go on to our next problem. So here's our second license plate scheme, and this one's called a police-friendly license plate scheme. So how does this one work? Well, we're going to have eight characters in our license plate. Okay, so I'm going to put down eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it looks like uh, when we use letters, we cannot use O's and Q's, and we cannot use the number zero. Uh, that kind of tells us why this is police-friendly, uh, because from a distance, a police officer may confuse those and may think, one of the letters may be a number or number letter or vice versa. I might confuse the O and the Q. Let's talk about how this is going to be built. So it says the first six characters have to be letters. Okay, so normally we got A through Z, but let's recall that we cannot use O and Q. Okay, so normally there's 26 letters in the alphabet, but we're taking a two out of there. So that means there's 24 that we could use for the license plate. So I could use 24 different letters here. One of them only goes there, but I got 24 to choose from. Okay, so that means I could do 24 for that one. Because it says the first six characters, four, five, and six, those are all going to be the same. They're chosen from the letters. Okay, now the last two our numbers. Now, normally we could put a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 here. That's 10, but we cannot use O's. Oh, uh, well, I see 0. See, I almost confused a number with a letter. So no zeros. So normally there's 10, 10 take away 1 would be 9. So I got 9 possible numbers there or 9 possible numbers there. Okay, now the fundamental counting principle says multiply all those together and we'll get our answer. All right, so we're gonna throw this into a calculator, see what we get. All right, so a calculator gives us one, five, four, seven, nine, 34, one, zero, five, six. Okay, so what is that? Well, I'm gonna put commas on every third number and it looks like we're getting, let's see, millions, billions, that's 15,479,341,056. Okay, it turns out that this is less than the number of license plates we can make from our first problem. 
All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other instructional videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.